Hello everyone, thank you for joining us on another video. In today's video, we're going to cover all the reveals from the Star Wars Celebration Hasbro panel. Uh, lots of stuff was revealed today, and we'll be covering the Black Series and the Vintage Collection. Lots of cool stuff was re, uh, revealed today, so we're going to break it down for you uh, all in this video. And first up, we're going to show the 40th anniversary figures from Return of the Jedi in the Black Series. There's already there's going to be three waves. They unveiled th Wave 3 uh, today, and uh, previously we've already shown Wave 1 in another video, but here is Wave 1, and it's actually hitting stores now. We've seen it at GameStop and Target, but not at Walmart yet, so that's kind of unusual. Uh, we thought Walmart would have these figures, but apparently they haven't hit yet. And then uh, Wave 2 will be this summer, and uh, I'm really looking forward to Chewie on this wave because uh, Chewie is unique. For the Return of the Jedi. And the Stormtrooper is going to be really cool on that card back. So, uh, first up, in uh, Wave 3, we have the Imperial Royal Guard, which is pretty cool. And we pretty much already knew about this because of the carbonized version they revealed a while back. And next up, we have a Darth Vader for Return of the Jedi. This looks really cool. I really like the way this figure looks. Um, yeah, I mean, this figure is just, it's going to be probably the best figure that we're going to get for Darth Vader in the Black Series. I mean, just look at that. Removable helmet that comes apart in um, at least two pieces. Um, well, I guess three pieces if you count yeah, those, the, the neck piece. The collar, the face plate, and then the, the top helmet part. So, And the, the face sculpt, the face sculpt is all new. Looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, I just can't wait to get my hands on this figure. Yeah. This is really cool. I mean, the, the the photo reel and that new head sculpt looks really cool. Next up, we have Luke Skywalker. Uh, again, uh, we've gotten a whole bunch of Luke Skywalkers, and uh, we've gotten a bunch of Return of the Jedi ones, too. And this one looks like a whole new one. Um, yeah, this figure is going to feature a removable like chest plate there where you can have the uh, the white part of his shirt folded down. So that has a really cool addition. And it's nice to have, finally have a new uh, Jedi Luke. Yeah. Next up, we have an all-new R2-D2. This is an all-new tooling for R2-D2, and I believe it's going to be a little bit smaller than the the one that we have now in the Black Series. Yeah. And this is going to feature a lot more features than the previous R2-D2. And these are just uh, like prototype photos, but that paint looks really good, that blue. And there is the full, um, the wave there. Yeah, and we get the uh, R2-D2 with the card back, with the sensor scope uh, card back. That's that really is pretty cool. cool. And then another addition to the 40th anniversary is this three pack of Force Ghosts? I saw this and it was just really cool. I'm I'm actually excited for this. Um, there's the Anakin right there. That head sculpt looks phenomenal, phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get my hands on that head sculpt. And there's the packaging. I like that back image right there from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, that's really cool. Nice uh, vintage packaging for this set. Next up, we have Jabba the Hutt for Return of the Jedi. This is really cool. Finally getting a re-release of Jabba the Hutt. Looks like some new paint apps on him. Um, looks really good. It's a shame, though, that he doesn't come with the throne, though. That would have been a really nice addition to this set. I know it probably would have made made it more, a lot, much more expensive, but I think the throne would have looked really nice. Yeah, I'm glad they're finally re-releasing Jabba. It's been so long since we've gotten one. And here's the packaging with the classic Kenner racetrack design right there. Yeah, the box looks amazing. Uh, that's a nice touch for the Black Series 40th anniversary line. And next up, we have the Bad Batch for the Black Series reveals. And the first figure up here is Season 2 Omega. Pretty cool right there. The head sculpt looks really good. I can see they're kind of going for a different take on this one, not the realistic take that we've seen before. 
Yeah, I really like the season two figure. It looks a lot better than the season one figure, so I'm kind of looking forward to this one actually. And next up, we have the Clone Commando. This one, I know people that do customs are going to really like this one. Yeah, really cool looking figure. Next up, we have Hunter from Season 2. This uh, figure looks amazing. I really like the colors on this. Uh, the, these figures were all revealed early uh, yesterday or the day before, I guess. Uh, so uh, they've been out for a day or two. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just reveal them at Celebration, but they are pretty cool. And uh, next up, we have Tech here. Um, yeah, no spoilers for the Bad Batch, in case any of you haven't watched it yet. But uh, can't wait to get our hands on this figure. It is amazing with the new goggles not being part of the helmet this time. That is yeah. a big upgrade. Yeah, that is really nice. That really improves this figure a lot. And next up, we have Echo there. Uh, again, really cool uh, with the new paint apps and like the orange and stuff. Yeah, it really gives life to Echo. I mean, the, the colors there look really good on him. Yeah, instead of his armor being like all gray, kind of like well, how it was in season one. And there's the packaging there. Yeah, another huge announcement that happened during Celebration, or I guess right before Celebration, was that the windows are coming back for boxes. So that is a huge uh, win for collectors. Yeah, and there's the Echo, I mean, the Wrecker right there. Pretty cool again with the new uh, armor and paint. Yeah, this wrecker I think looks a lot better than the season one wrecker. The uh, the new sculpting on the armor really improves the look of this figure, and I believe the new face sculpt looks a lot better too. Yeah, and there's the packaging for him. Yeah, I really can't wait to see the bubbles again. That's just going to be amazing. I can't believe that they're back. Honestly, Hasbro finally snapped. And a book of Boba Fett reveal was Cad Bane. Now this looks amazing. Uh, new Cad Bane with the the look or the likeness to Book of Boba Fett appearance looks really nice. Yeah, but I mean, we should have gotten this like a year ago. I mean, really. But other than that, it is really cool. Yeah. And here are the pipeline reveals. Yeah, we have um, General Grievous, a battle damage version coming to GameStop from Battlefront Two. And then we have uh, Pre Vizsla right there, which is pretty cool. Finally, getting him in the black in the black series. And Obi Wan Kenobi from the final scenes of the series. And then Battle Damaged Vader. Can't wait for that one. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. And then we have Forced Ghost Qui Gon. Going to be really cool to go with the Forced Ghost set. And then we have a 501st Clone Trooper, which is actually, a, I think, a commander or captain. I can't remember his name. That is going to be also a Target exclusive. And now for the Vintage Collection reveals. We got a lot here to talk about, starting with the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary. Moff Jared, that is going to be a cool figure. So yeah. glad to see him come into the line. There is, it does to me look like his hat is a little big on his head though. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I, I agree. It looks a little off there on these pictures. Of course, the real figure may not look like that. And next up, we have Nine Numb finally getting re released in the vintage collection. Uh, it is sad that they used, that they didn't completely remake the figure, but they did add a little up, upgrade to the paint apps. Yeah, he still has the swivel hips, but it's a nice to see this figure back because this is a $100 plus Vintage Collection uh, figure from Vintage Collection 1.0. And next up, we have Velkin Tazeri. I don't even know if I said that right, but he was uh, on the sail barge, one of Jabba's goons there. Yeah. And then Ter Tame Dren Garen. Which I probably said that wrong as well, but another Jabba goon. And then we have Regis, very iconic guy here, alien from Star Wars, finally in the vintage collection to go with everybody's sail barge. And then Tesek, or Squidhead as we like to call him, again, very iconic character. Yeah, really cool to see him. I'm, I'm kind of a, disappointed that he's not on a single release, but these are all in a four pack uh, in the classic vintage collection style box. They're going to be packed in. 
And then a huge reveal for the Vintage Collection. We got Chris Santin from the Book of Boba Fett. He got revealed for the for the Black Series. And uh, I think it was a few days ago. And now he's in the Vintage Collection 2. Which the Vintage Collection looks like it gets more accessories than the Black Series 1. But, you know, typical. And there's the box art because it is a deluxe figure. Yeah, it looks really cool. The sculpting on this figure is looks amazing. And then another huge reveal, a vehicle for the Vintage Collection. This one is going to be sick. It's the Mandalorian's N1, and it just looks awesome. I mean, the stand and everything reminds me of the HasLab Razor Crest with uh, Mando and his soft goods and all the features with this. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks like they did a really good job on this one. Uh, the proportions look pretty good, I think. Um, also, one of the features is the bubble where for Grogu can be taken out and you can put the droid port in there. But unfortunately, it does not come with like the R5 droid. This is sad, but this thing does look pretty cool. And a plus side, the Mando is on card. That is sick. Yeah. I love that card back. He comes with all the accessories from the show. The Darksaber, the Beskar Spear, his backpack. Very nice. And now for the pipeline reveals for the Vintage Collection, we have the Grand Inquisitor from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, and this is huge. They have, we have Director Krennic from Rogue One, finally Director Krennic. So I'm really and, looking forward to Gr Director Krennic. And Grand Admiral Thrawn. It's the first time these two figures have ever gotten a uh, like a premium 3.75-inch release. And, uh, well, for all of these it is, really. And uh, Pre Vizsla there and Darth Revan. Yeah, really looking forward to Thrawn too. That is going to be awesome. And hopefully they will be out maybe later this year when uh, Ahsoka Show comes out. And next up, we all kind of saw this coming. We got a new HasLab announced. We didn't get it revealed, so we don't know what it is yet. But it was announced that we're getting a new one in Star Wars. Yeah, and it will be Vintage Collection this time, so that's nice. And, of course, all the rumors are pointing towards the ghost from the Rebels. Yeah, I'm honestly, if this actually happens, it'll blow my mind. I mean, Star Wars Rebels is my childhood completely, and I would just love to have a ghost. Yeah, and I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to see the ghost in live action in the Ahsoka show, and that's probably one of the reasons why they didn't announce it today is because, um, you know, the show isn't out yet. So yeah. we're going to be looking forward to that. That announcement later, I would say maybe May 4th or maybe even later. I don't know, maybe, maybe a Comic-Con yeah. announcement in the summer. I would like to see a Ewok village from the, for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, though. I think that would make a cool HasLab if they could make an updated modern Ewok village. Yeah, the last time we got an Ewok village playset was back in the Kenner days. Yeah, So, correct. And here is all of the reveals we have up here well most of them anyways uh yeah a very very good day for the star wars collecting community um it was nice to see patrick up there and the rest of the crew yeah so alex what are you looking forward to the most probably here probably either um that darth vader from uh, the 40th anniversary in the black series um or mando's end one i think that those two are probably the most for me. Yeah, for me, it's going to be the Darth Vader Black Series figure with a removable helmet. That is just going to be so awesome. I really like uh, what, what I see here. Um, also, Cad Bane is going to be nice. And, of course, the N1 Starfighter for the Vintage Collection is going to be amazing. All right, so we want to hear from you. What are, what are you looking forward to the most? Let us know down in the comments down below. Um, this was a, a lot of amazing reveals today. I um, was quite surprised by some of them, so it was really cool. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And yeah, make sure you comment down below. Tell us what you're looking forward to in either the Vintage Collection or the Black Series. Yeah, I'm really excited for all this stuff. All right, Alex, take us out. May the Force be with you, and happy Star Wars celebration.